I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today we're reading from Mark 2, 27 through 28. Here's what it says. Then Jesus said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. In the mid-1800s, Americans fled to the West in droves in search of gold and a better life. But according to the Emigrant's Guide to California, published in 1849, it was the gold rushers who rested most, specifically by observing the Sabbath, that reached their destination the quickest. As the guide shares, quote, those who laid by on the Sabbath, resting themselves and their teams, reached gold country 20 days sooner than those who traveled seven days a week. End quote. The gold rushers example illustrates a fascinating paradox. Oftentimes, rest is the most productive thing we can do. And not just Sabbath rest. As the scientific community now understands, taking breaks every other hour throughout your workday and getting an eight-hour sleep opportunity every night are essential to doing our most exceptional work for the glory of God and the good of others. Throughout the Gospels, we see Jesus embodying these three rhythms of productive rest. He offered restorative breaks to his disciples as they worked. Jesus himself fought for sleep and, as we've already seen, he reaffirmed the goodness of the God-given gift of Sabbath. Of course, because he is our creator, Jesus knew what centuries of scientific exploration have now empirically proven, that these rhythms of rest are productive as we strive towards our goals. But Jesus also undoubtedly knew something science may never be able to approve, Namely, that rest is not just productive for our goals, it's also productive for our souls. Taking breaks throughout your workday reminds you that God doesn't need you to finish your to-do list. Getting a full night's sleep reminds you that God is the only being who neither slumbers nor sleeps and thus doesn't need you or me to keep the world spinning. Sabbath Remind you that in the words of the great New Testament scholar N.T. Wright, all time belongs to God and stands under the renewing lordship of Jesus Christ. These truths bring us to the sixth principle in this series that we need for redeeming our time. Here it is. Principle number six, embrace productive rest. To redeem our time in the model of our Redeemer, We must embrace the God-designed rhythms of rest, which are counterintuitively productive for our goals and, more importantly, for our souls. How practically do we incorporate these bi-hourly, nightly, and weekly rhythms of rest into our crazy modern lives? I answer that question at length in my book, Redeeming Your Time. If you want a preview I created a short video that documents what Sabbath looks like for me and my young family. You can watch that video by clicking the link in the show notes of this episode. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBWFoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. Sign up right now, again, totally free at TWBWFoundations.com.